Okay, Arch, so our mallard didn't break the speed record of the original mallard. But you know what I think could happen? What? I think something could beat the, the speed record on our track, could beat the mallard's record. What? Let's try that same experiment again, and we'll do the sums again nice and quickly and easy so everyone can work it out. Let's try it with a pocket rocket. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's go. I bet this would beat the mallard's time by far. It's the famous speedy pocket rocket, isn't it? Yes. It's a Hornby, um, is it an 040 shunter? Supposed to be. Yeah. But they're amazingly fast little model trains, these. Um, so, okay, we do a warm up lap with it. Yep. And then we'll measure it for five, uh, five laps. Yeah. At full speed. Okay, go. And we're off. Lap one. Lap two. And it derailed. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. <laughs> it derailed. And we're off. <laughs> Quite literally off. <laughs> and we're off. Lap one. Two laps and going strong. Two laps and come off on the corner. And we're off! No! And we're off! Maybe don't accelerate into the corner. And we're off! One lap. Two laps. Oh, she's doing well to control it on the corners here. Three laps. Four laps. Coming in for the final lap. And it... 27 seconds. Okay, now we're going to find out the scale miles per hour for our pocket rocket that we know did our five laps in 27 seconds. Now, we worked out previously that our five laps of the track was, in scale terms, 1.5595 kilometres. That was our distance. Um, if you missed all that, you should go and watch our video about the Mallard doing uh, scale miles per hour, where we explain miles per hour in scale more fully. That's our actual uh, real number of scale kilometres that five laps of our track is. Like I say, all the workings out are shown on that previous video. Um, our time for doing it was 27 seconds with the pocket rocket. 27 divided by 3,600, um, which is the number of seconds in an hour gives us 0 0.0075 hours. Kilometres per hour is worked out dividing the distance by the time, the kilometres by the hours. So that particular sum there would give us a speed of 207.0075. 93333 three, three, three recurring kilometers per hour. That's the actual scale speed that our pocket rocket was going when we eventually got it to do five laps in a row. We're going to multiply that by 0.62 to get it into miles per hour, and I think you'll find that the answer is 128.9186 miles per hour. It Beat the mallard. I think it absolutely beat the mallard, which was only doing 125. People say it might have done faster, but actually, our pocket rocket has been proven to be the fastest steam engine in the world, driven um, by Archie Dale. Well done. You're now a world record holder, I believe. Yay!
<laughs> oh, by the way, when I did bring it round, as it was on second radius curves, I did have to slow it round down quite a lot so it'd get round the corners. Oh, that's true. And if we were doing a straight like the original Mallard was, slightly downhill, the pocket rocket could perhaps done 130 scale miles per hour or more. Maybe quick. Oh, more challenges to come, Arch. <laughs> okay, bye for now. We'll be back with more models, trains, and probably more scale miles per hour, the fun that this is going. Yeah. Bye! <laughs>